Howdy, folks. Today we're playing Blue White Defender in Brothers War Standard. Shout out to Sunday for submitting the deck, and let's get into the video. Bad news, we're without blue mana. Good news, the rest of the hand looks pretty good. I think we'll keep. See, uh, see how it goes. Limpkin, see what they're on. Nice little ghost. They're on enchantments. Okay. Probably a tough matchup for us, to be honest. The deck you probably need some board wipes against. Ooh, okay. Put in the work on us early. We need to draw lands to make this relevant, though. Circle of Confinement. Sure, okay. Getting the full beatdown experience right now. We need to draw untapped land here to have a chance. We did draw it, okay. Maybe we'll play the judge. I think we'd happily trade here. So they would need to play two enchantments for us to not trade. Of course, they could also have another, they could have their own Tuts of Spirit Realm, borrowed time effect kind of thing, which is pretty good. I'm just getting in here. Man, we have drawn the correct lands, though. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to play this to block this portrait. Hope they don't have two enchantments here. Oh my goodness. They have another enchantment. They're just... No, that's just lethal. Oh my goodness. That's the dream draw from our opponent. Good game. Alrighty, I'm going first. Not a bad hand. Don't have a ton to do until turn three, turn four, but try it out. I think we will get on this deserted beach to start, though. Just in case we wanted to play some of these other spells in our hand. Very unlikely, though. Pretty slow hand from us. Going to need pretty lax draw from our opponent to get it done this game. Let's see what they have. Lead on a swamp. Could be mono black. Could be a number of things. Black's very powerful color in the standard, as I'll be watching, though. Mm, opponent's definitely in the tank, though. Okay, opponent's passing. Alrighty, they're on Jund, obviously, by the looks of it. So we have a Touch of Spear Realm we can't play right now, so we'll just go and pass. This card costs three mana. I think you could really talk me into this deck being pretty decent, pretty viable. The fact that it costs four is tough, though. We have Blade's Blanket, though, so we'll see how, we'll see how it all goes. We're definitely getting the Wingmate Chaplain with it. Our opponent, probably unlikely to have... A wrath and Jund. Could be a burn down the house deck, but not something you see too often from Jund. Alright, put us on Swamp and Graveyard Trespasser. Sounds good to me. Nothing to trespass. My turn. And we already have a Wing Mantle Chaplain. Okay. I think we're just going to get another one, to be honest. And just keep playing them. See if, they see if that's good enough. Next turn, it'll give us two 1-1s. One Assuming they don't kill our shield wall. Shield wall is really not that good. I wouldn't expect them to kill it, though. Obviously, we could play uh, Planner Inclusion plus Touch the Spirit Realm next turn as well. It's definitely possible. Point knows it's probably coming down, though. So they, they could be incentivized to play a heater here like a Sheldred. And to be honest, if they play Sheldred, we probably are going to play Touch the Spirit Realm and... Planner inclusion. Opponent just in the tank all game, though. Okay, opponent is passing through their turn, and they don't want to play against defenders. They were scared, you know. That's a dub in my eyes. <laughs> all righty. We're back with the deck deck here. Um, the deck is blue-white defenders, and it's built around... All these defenders that you hopefully want to blink. Uh, well, the two main ones being Shield Wall Sentinel, where it has a good ETB, um, where when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for creature card with defender, 
A lot of our cards in the deck have Defender. And reveal it and put it in your hand and shuffle. When you blink it with Planner, Inclusion, or Touch of Spirit Realm, you can keep getting the best card in your deck, which is Wing Mantle Champlain, which has an even better ETB, which is create a 1 1 bird white creature token with flying for each creature with a defender you control. And then after it's already on the battlefield, every creature with a defender you control that you play gets another 1 1. So also some incremental value there after it's on the battlefield, in addition to its pretty good ETB. We also have Clockwork Drawbridge to tap uh, the opposing creatures to get in if they have like a, a flyer sitting in the way and stuff. Or, you know, it's just, just another defender. Really, I mean, the, the, the pickings are slim for defenders in standard. Um, this is honestly one of the better ones that we have. Walking Bulwark also pretty good. It gives your uh, defenders haste and the ability to attack and gives you some surprise damage when uh, Pair Breath refuse to yield. We have March of Swirling Mist to insulate yourself against Wrath, to phase out other opposing creatures to get in a lethal attack, things like that. Toss the Spirit Realm is just a great card in this deck and that it can blink our own stuff and also that it um just is the only removal spell is we're really leaning heavily on it so it kind of does double duty but um i suspect we'll be using this as a removal spell more often than we would like to um in this build faithbound judge is another one of the good defenders in the format it's a three mana four four flying vigilance um which is just a house of a card also has defender obviously that's a big downside um but that's it that downside is actually an upside in our deck so we're pretty pretty happy about this card um just uh on pure rate which is pretty happy then we have planner inclusion uh is our main blink spell and surge engine is our other uh mythic defender um which is had you know kind of follows the warden of the first tree uh style um, you know, but you pay mana, it unlocks a new level essentially. Uh, the first level being, you know, it loses defender and gains. This creature can't be blocked. Um, you have to make sure you you watch out when you do that level versus when you play the wing mantle champ chaplain because you don't want to lose defender and get one less bird, right? So you have to kind of just a little bit of tension there, but you know, it's a defender card. You know, <laughs> you're you're doing what you can here. Um, yeah, that's the plan of the deck. Mana base is pretty clean. Blue-white uh, stuff. You get one free Odawara and a Ganjo, pretty much. Um, and so, yeah. Thank you, uh, Sunday, for submitting the deck. And uh, let's get into some more games. Why not? So we'll be relying heavily on... on being able to draw and land here um, to make this hand work. Probably two lands. Um... I think we can get there though. I think we can get there. Opponent is on, let's see, on the tank plan. Opponent has more than 60 cards in their deck. If I'm reading this right, interesting. Very interesting. We'll pass. If they just level up the Evolve Sleeper here, I think we're going to block it. They don't look like too interested in that. Okay. Okay, we really need to have an untapped land here to have a chance in this game. Just being honest. The attack with Evolve Super Reef might still block, honestly. Okay, not looking good. Can't tap anything, stuck on lands. Oof. Opponent could just evolve the sleeper twice if we block, which is pretty problematic. Could just kill our clockwork and drawbridge as well. I think we need to keep this alive, honestly. Just blank their removal spell. Threaten, threaten to block this sleeper. It's fine. We just gotta buy time. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. Get the judge going. Pass the turn. 
we can untap, draw an untapped land and play a chaplain, we'll be very happy about where we're at. Gotta get there, though. Gotta get there. Lands have been hard to come by this game so far. Opponent is on, uh, you know, probably less than, sub less than optimal build of mono black, which, you know, we'll take. You know, they have another Hero's Downfall, you know. People, Hero's Downfall is not a card that's especially efficient. Now, they do go for the throat, so okay. So they can't make this have Death Touch, which is interesting to note. So definitely get a free block there this turn. This obviously has Death Touch, so we don't want to block it. It's not like we're doing any attacking, so... If I were the opponent, I'd feel pretty safe about just sending this anyway. There's a chance I don't block, and you feel pretty good about not getting attacked back when the only creature I have has Defender. What we really want to avoid here is a Sheldred. Sheldred would be devastating. I think we could be an Invoke Despair if we draw land this turn. Opponent is in the tank about this attack. Okay, no, they're, they're all, all about it. Maybe they have a cut down? Not really sure. Seem to have some sort of priority stick. Obviously, it could be the Evolve Sleeper level again, and they're just unaware how the, the card sticks with priority. Hero's Downfall and Go for the Throat. Interesting here. I'll give our opponent a year go so they know that they're on the priority. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so we got Surge Engine. It's not a perfect draw, so I think we are just going to get this Evolve Sleeper while we can, try to limit their uh, ability to draw a bunch of cards. If they do have the uh, Invoke Despair, I think we were gonna we're gonna lose without drawing that Untapped Land for Wing Metal Chaplain. So I think we're taking a pretty big risk that they don't have it, yeah, or Sheldred. I mean. You can touch the spear realm here on the Vol Super. It's a pretty big bet on those things. One in the tank, though. Oof. One of those days where all your opponents are just <laughs> thinking about every single play that they could or couldn't make. Like Doctor Strange <laughs> going through all the simulations out of everything that could possibly happen. All right, the opponent finally decides that they're fine with the Evolve Sleeper going. I oh, was hoping that we don't get untapped land, invoke despair here. Soren. Could have been worse. I'll be real. Soren, that's what I'm happy to see on the other side of the battlefield right now. Could have been a heck of a lot worse, though. If we just drew lands for the next three or four draw steps, we would be pretty happy. I mean, <laughs> just being real here. Can't be blocking that. Okay, land. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm just getting my bird while I can. Getting double birds. Next turn, play the shield wall sentinel. So your opponent does this, Soren. They plus. I think that means we won't block the vampire if they attack with it. They do plus, see what they hit. Oof, yikes. Okay. Some good value there. It's a card that's annoying too, because they didn't know how to play around the <laughs> around the priority sticks with it earlier either. Okay, Let's see what they take. Our Shield Walled Sentinel or Surge Engine. We would much prefer them take the Shield Walled Sentinel. We're low on blue mana um, for the Surge Engine, but so we'd rather take them, them take the Surge Engine so we get the Shield Wall Sentinel, get another Wing Mate Chaplain, Wing Mate Chap, Wing Mantle Chaplain. Uh, but we'll see. See what they're doing. Uh, at least they don't have anything really good to bring back right now. Really anything at all actually to bring back right now. 
I don't know if this is like waiting to resolve or if they're okay. It was just waiting to resolve. <laughs> oh my lord. They do take the surge engine. We're happy about that. See if they attack with this two three. They attack only if they attack with both. I don't think we're gonna block. Okay. Make another bird. And I don't think we can just chain the shield wall, guys. I think we need to get another chaplain. Start doing that. Pass the turn. So they get any card in their deck here. We're not really as scared by an Invoke Despair anymore. What we don't want to see is a Sheltered. So we're really hoping they don't have one of those in their deck. If they're a Sheltered Gamer, we need to top deck another Touch the Spirit Realm to have a chance. Problem is... Um, Invoke Despair is pretty good against Touch the Spirit Realm. Hmm. Oh, they did get a Sheltered. Ah, uh, Sheltered Gamers out here. Okay. I mean, Sheltered's a good card. If you're playing standard, you probably have to play it, but it's just, it's tough against this deck, <laughs> to say the least. Not really too big of a fan of playing it. Oh, they have a Gix, too. Okay. It's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. I don't need a block. We're going to be able to make a bunch of 1-1s, one but it's not going to be enough. We're going to need to draw Surge Engine right here. Didn't do it. Not Surge Engine. Touch Spirit Realm right here. Didn't do it. Hmm. So can we kill our opponent theoretically? If we played the Surge Engine, gave it its plus one, made it a f unblockable. Next turn, make it a 5-4. And refuse to yield it. Hmm. That doesn't do much. I think we're just going to play this Chaplain and pray. We have a lot of birds. Not a lot to do with the birds. Just gonna try to hope out, hold out for a uh, touch of spirit realm right now. Faithbound judge. Oh, that's right. That is in the, that is in the graveyard. Okay. Interesting. Soren just drawing cards every turn. It cost a life though, Liliana. That's fine. I'm not really particularly. Particularly care about Liliana right now. If they plus it, we're getting rid of this for Fuse to yield for sure. Uh, problem is, everything over there is Death Touch. Let's see what our opponent does. We have a lot of birds. A lot of birds. It's going to take a pretty impressive set of draws here for us to take home a W. And oof. And that's not what we wanted to see. What is our opponent going to do to lay on? It can make me sack. Sure. One bird down. Hmm. So, if I block just the Sheldred, I take three, six, eight, ten. So, let's block two things here. So, basically, I think we have the only way to win this. Well, actually, I have, I'm at seven, so I have to only take six. So, I block these three things here. Or, yeah, might as well just block. I'm going to block three things. Might as well block the best things. Doesn't give us a lot of options here to win the game. One also gets to gain some life there too. Eh, I don't think there's a lot we can do to win this game. Probably gonna take this this draw step and then concede. We'll see though. We'll see. I want to think about whether they want to gain one life and draw a card here. 
They're gonna decline. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if that's enough to win us the game. Hmm, not bad, though. Yeah, not quite enough to get us there, but that's close. Yeah, if we had just a little bit more, we'd be able to get there. If they don't block, I think we win. Because this is three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we don't even have enough if they don't block. Damn. They decided to block anyway. GG's. Tough one there. Okay. I think I'm going to make some changes to the deck. Okay, we're back. And we're going to make some changes here. I think one of the better defenders I think we have is left out. So it's uh, Coral Colony, 2 mana, 1 4, um, 2 tap, target player mills X cards, or X is the number of creatures you control with defender. Not quite sure it'll uh, get it done, but in a really long, drawn out game where you're just blocking with Wing Mantle Chaplain tokens over and over again. I can see Coral Colony being a good alternate win condition. So we're going to go ahead and add those to our deck um, at the expense of these planner inclusions. I think we're also going to, instead of going to uh, refuse to yield uh, first prize kill, I think we're going to go more in the removal spell uh, direction. And we're going to go ahead and play um, the two mana addition chance. Or destroy your creature card with toughness four or greater killed Sheldred. Sheldred really hard a card we'll have a really hard time with in this deck. And I think we're also gonna play a couple essence scatter. Um just because it's I just feel like um in this deck we're pretty behind, so I think we're gonna sell out um a little bit to try to try to stop creature strategies in the hope that we can buy a little more time for our creatures here. I don't think people will be expecting the essence scatter out of us. We'll see. Might not be that good, but um, we'll see how it goes. These these are the changes I'm making though. So uh, yeah, let's try uh, these new changes in the video. Okay, we're going first. This deck needs sand. Rather needs a little bit of help, but we'll run with it. Two opponents on soldiers, maybe. I think we're going to play the Surge Engine out. Next turn, we can pump it up with level and keep up Essence Scatter, which is pretty nice. Companion, okay. Fine by us. Let's see if our opponent has a creature they're really trying to play here. I think we'll counter most creatures. We'll counter that, I think. Should attack our opponent with the Surge Engine and play out the Wing Mantle Chaplain. The next turn, play another one out. And if we draw any other defenders from here on out, we're going to be in pretty good shape. We have to touch the Spear Realms to get going. Kind of the aggro plan here, which is an interesting spot for our deck to be in. That's fine. We got our bird. Now we get to investigate. Yeah, we're definitely not blocking, so. We're on the attack plan. Yeah. They thought it was necessary to kill our last one, so then we're just going to play another one. Let's see if they kill this one, too. They have a Nether Faithful Absence. They have to be if they don't, so okay. Pretty happy that this means they don't have a Wrath, too. In the trenches, okay, sure. They're getting in. We have a free block with this Chaplain, though. 
Do you have a lay down arms, maybe? Hmm. Doesn't matter what we block. Yep, just getting in here. Playing another defender, get another bird, which is pretty nice. And we also get another chaplain. So not bad, not bad. We have lethal next turn. Your opponent has. Opponent can't yet activate this in the trenches. If they have a removal spell, they need to use it on the surge engine, likely. Another companion, sure. It's not moving the needle too much. We'll take it. Trepid adversary gives lifelink, but I don't think that does enough. No blocks from us. These have flying. So, uh, let's get busy. GG's. We'll take it. <laughs> ah, I'm ready. Don't know if there's anything to do with our uh, the changes we made, but we won a game. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, GG's. Okay, we're going first again. Again, we're low on the land, so... This is just what <laughs> this is just what we're meant to be doing with this deck, I guess. Ride the low land count. Opponents on mono red. So I think that means we're playing the defender. And we probably should have played the Otoir there, that's my bad. Yeah, took an unnecessary point of damage, maybe it matters. See what our opponent has here. They could have a lot of different creatures. Beast collar, sure. Yeah, I think we have to hit this with a touch the spirit realm. It's just gonna get too big too quickly. We do get this this chaplain next turn though. I'm like two one one birds. Assuming they don't have something to point at the coral colony. Which they could, they definitely could. Play with fire, something wouldn't be great. Rada, okay. And they didn't attack. That's interesting to note. Two one ones. So we're getting the ground locked down. Which is pretty good. Next turn, we'll be able to play this shield wall sentinel, get another chaplain, hopefully. And ride you, okay. See where the plus one, plus one goes. If it doesn't go on the rod, we get an easy block. Okay. Yeah, so we get two easy blocks here. Sentinel, huh? Okay. Get to get a chaplain here. If I'm gonna pass. Bunch of creatures are just keep getting bigger, but we're going to keep getting more stuff with the chaplain, at least. Stormseeker, okay. And another Rada. We have a lot more creatures with which to block this turn. Some nasty attack coming in on us, though. Okay, we... Didn't really want to attack block with a sentinel. Okay, sure. They're incentivizing against us to not block with our creatures with defender. Okay. So we can get a double block in on this firebrand that's a 5 2. And block the 4 as well and take 5. Sure, I'm down for that. 
Getting rid of a Rodus Firebrand is pretty nice, actually. I'm pretty happy about that. A land there would have been pretty nice. Make some birds. So we're going to have one more heater. Rise you down. Okay. If we had a land there and be able to counter that rise, I think we'd be in a really good spot here. Alas, that's not the case. Let's see what they may not be able to block. Sentinel, okay. Doing a plus one, plus one counters. Okay. So we have to block everything. Block's not feeling good. Do I have to kill a Raizu? I think we have to kill a Raizu, actually. Yeah, I think we have to kill a Raizu. Yeah, I think we have to do this. We have to not take that much damage from the Raizu next turn. Hmm. I get the Wing Mantle Chaplain, but... Don't know if we'll have enough in time. So we have this Destroy Evil. When do we want to use it? Man, if we could have counted this to rise you last turn, we'd be in such a good spot, I feel like. It's so disappointing. Hmm. You know, anything with plus four greater, we obviously can kill this etchings whenever we need to, so. Okay. I have to hope this goes on Kamano, I think. Put it to itself, okay. Hmm, those are good. Yep, good attacks by our opponent, GG's. Yeah, needed our opponent to make a mistake there, and they didn't. So, well played, honestly, by our opponent. GG's. All right, opponent's going first, and his hand is making some some good, good good hands here. So, yeah. Making of a good hand, rather. Let's let's get there. Okay, opponent is on mono black cold conscript shenanigans. Okay, well, we'll, work, we'll block that cold conscript. See if they think it's worth killing. It probably is if they have a cut down. If they have a cut down plus another one drop, I think they would definitely kill it. Infernal Grasp, okay. Okay. Two drop. Did not draw it. Hmm. See what your opponent has here. Hopefully they can't get two ahead. If they do play something, hopefully it's something we can kill with Touch of Spirit Realm. Interesting. Play the post combat there. 
Definitely just gonna kill this Gix while we have the chance. Might have a second one, but my guess is this is a deck built around Gix, so. Okay, I can trespass her, sure. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a chaplain. Have a cut down here. To draw one drop defender. Cut down was brutal there, I'm not gonna lie. Needed to be able to save this two life against the cult conscript. Opponent has had a pretty nice draw against us. Discard is Odawara. Pass. It probably has more removal in their hand based on the way they're playing this. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a Surge Engine here. Give our opponent something they really should kill in hopes that the Chaplain lives. Opponent knows, though, that we have the Chaplain, but it's our game plan. Give our opponents several, several things they feel like they have to kill. Now, if they want to get through the cult conscript, they feel like they have to kill those sentinel as well. Okay, I figured they had at least one removal spell. They drew a land here. We're feeling pretty good, actually. They did draw a land. Well. We have to play the chaplain, but now we have the the touch of spirit where I'll bounce. And that might be enough that we, that we can pull out this game. We will take that draw. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Seeing a path to victory here. Let's see what our opponent has. Do have a removal spell for, the, for one of these chaplains? Invoke Despair. I think we'll give him the Gix back. I don't think we have any problem giving him the Gix back. Taking the damage is a little tough, though. So we flicker this, put him on a two-turn clock. I think that's worth it. And pain of life, though. And it's nighttime, so we'd be dead to... Graveyard Trespasser. No, we wouldn't be dead to a Graveyard Trespasser, so I think I think we're gonna flicker this then. Gotta read my own cards, okay. Another Invoked Despair gets us here. Not yet dead to that. Not yet dead to it. They do Invoke Despair here, though. Yeah. 
don't, I should not have paid the one damage with the. I'll go for the throat. To the attack. Kind of draw a way to kill our opponent right now. And that's not enough. We're going to lose because we took the one damage with Adakar Wastes. That is extremely disappointing. My bad. Should have not sent out a W there. That's on me, folks. Sorry about that. Shoot. Gotta play perfectly with the deck if you want to win. All right, let's get to the wrap-up. All righty, folks, we're back with a wrap-up here. Uh, I, I do like the changes we made to this deck. I think having just the extra defenders is nice. We never really went to the mill plan with the Coral Colony, but honestly, a two-mana one forwards was better. The def defender was better than what we had with the Blink in the deck anyway because it's really hard to get things like that for long enough to be able to Blink them for significant value. I think the Essence Scatter... Uh, would have been really good in the one game against red green if we had just drawn the untapped land so i think it has its moments too i i honestly i'm not sold on this being the correct build of the deck but more importantly i'm not sold on defender being anywhere near competitively viable right now um you know it, it was really good in in uh some of the draft formats of the past you know with the bulwark and the sentinel and the chaplain all in the same uh draft set and uh, also with the Coral Colony, I remember drafting in the Clockwork Drawbridge. I remember drafting all of this um, together, and it was really fun. You could do a lot of damage with that in that draft set. But um, in standard, don't, it, it just doesn't have it doesn't have the horsepower. It doesn't get it done. Um, at, you know, it was interesting to try. I you know commend Sunday for sending it in, but I really think this deck is going to need. Um, a couple more pieces. The, the first piece is it's going to need uh, a creature that that says you can attack with creature with defender. And also, those creatures assign combat damage equal to their toughness. Like Walking Bulwark, but without being gated by an activated ability. I think that would be super helpful for the deck. Um, get it to a place where it can, it can be competitively viable. And it just also needs just better, more, better defenders on the whole. Um, I mean, Shield Wall Sentinel has a pretty good ETB, but it's a 4-mana 1-3. If it was like a 4-mana 3-5 or just something with beef or anything, I mean, I think it would it could help help you get there a little more. But as it is, not a lot of great defenders. Um, we struggled <laughs> in all the games we played. Also struggled to draw to draw lands with our 24 land deck so all day. So it's just tough drawing with the deck in general, but um, it's tough tough to perform um, well with the deck. I like I like trying out these these sorts of strategies, though. I think um, you could gain some percentage points um, by swapping out Essence Scatter and Destroy Evil with whatever you think is the best card in that spot. I definitely don't think... I nailed it there. I think Touch of Spirit Realm is actually a pretty good addition if you're going to go the Wing Mantle Chaplain and the Shield Wall Sentinel route, having that that blink built into uh, a removal spell be, is really nice. Honestly, if we could play eight of those, I think this deck would be really good. No, I mean, I don't, okay, uh, let me take that back. It wouldn't be really good, but it would be a lot better if we could play eight Touch of Spirit Realms. But um, that would be the case for a lot of decks in Standard. Um, it's a pretty unique card, pretty good card. So, um, yeah. That's the deck. Um, I wouldn't totally recommend playing it <laughs> in standard if you're looking to win games. If you're looking to have fun, I would play this maybe in the not ranked queue um, so you can get some dubs that way against people that just aren't bringing uh, you know, meta mono black, meta Grixis, meta enchantments, stuff like that. 
Yeah. Um, if you like this video, check out my last uh, video on Mardu Ishin attack triggers. And uh, again, shout out to Sunday for creating this deck. And until next time, wherever you are, whenever you are, have a magical day.